Hey guys, what's up? I know it's been forever. I guess I just am inconsistent with my life and what I want to do, but I wanted to get on and share some life updates with you and kind of maybe redirect my channel into what I want to do. For all I was kind of doing fashion, which I love, but I just don't have the funds to be buying new clothes all the time, except gym clothes, because that's like legitimately what I live in. Um, but my big update is that I will be competing in a bikini bodybuilding competition in May of 2021. So I kind of wanted to start this little mini series and make updates here. I guess it will be kind of my source of accountability. So I'll just kind of jump right in with what's going on in my life, what I'm eating, what I'm doing for workouts, that kind of thing, and let you know the deets. Do the cool kids still say deets? Okay, so first things first, I am going into this without a coach. Now, there are a couple of reasons, but the number one reason was that it was just kind of a spur of the moment decision a while back. And at the time, I wasn't really fully sure that I was even going to commit to it because I tend to uh, find interest in a hobby or something, and then I quickly lose interest. And at the rate a coach, I just wasn't really sure. Also, I am now a certified personal trainer through NASM. So that kind of gave me some grounds to kind of know where I needed to be exercise wise. I feel like I am pretty competent in the field of um, exercise and working out and training body parts and knowing how to adjust my body in the gym. Nutrition is a whole other thing. So I have been Dr. Google for the past two months and I do tons of research and I'm taking supplements based on what I've read online and kind of just like my own analysis of things. So yes, I'm going into this without a coach and go ahead, roast me in the comments if you have to. But I've decided to do this again, starting from a point of I wasn't really sure it's a big financial commitment. So I was just kind of like, eh, and decided to go at it on my own. When I started, which was at the very end of October, 2020, I was weighing in at 117 pounds. I am four foot 10 inches tall. I just turned 30 years old. So my body composition for my height, like at that, I'm still pretty high body fat. I am right now currently sitting at about 109 pounds and I will show you like my physique and I'll post some little clips here and photos to show you kind of how I've pro like the progress I've made so far. As far as training goes, I am currently lifting about six days a week. Um, I do listen to my body if I'm really sore and my muscles hurt and I know that I can't give it 100% in the gym, then I'm not going to do that workout that day. I might exchange it for something else. Um, I bought this handy dandy little machine on Facebook Marketplace a while back. It is a very basic um, elliptical. It does have resistance settings, but it doesn't have like an incline or anything like that. But you know what? It gets the job done. So some days if I'm really sore, I might um, swap out for like a longer steady state cardio or I might do um, more of a uh, circuit style training with weights and I might just take a rest day, I might do yoga. But for the most part, I'm lifting six days a week. I have um, a full lower body day, so legs with a huge focus on glutes because I was not blessed in that area of my life and so it's an area that I really have to work on because bikini definitely um, embodies and wants you to have very nice glutes and hamstrings for the competition. So it's glute heavy, but I do train all legs. Um, then the following day I train shoulders, tricep, and a little bit of chest. I am built like a brick shit house. I always have been. Um, I'm just naturally like more muscular and maybe not while I'm just like at rest, but like my body is just, it puts on muscle pretty fast. So I'm not trying to like build these giant pec muscles, but I do want to train that body part. So I am doing those three things the following day. So it's kind of a push pull um, section workout with then a leg day. Cause then my following day is uh, back and biceps and that would be today. Um, and with cardio, I'm kind of just winging it at this point. I work a very, very, very active job. I get about 15,000 steps in, in my day and I'm moving at a very quick pace. I'm a casino floor runner, bartender. So that gets a ton of my just daily movement, but on days that I'm not working and even on days that I'm working, sometimes I will throw in either like some hit or this bad mamba, you know, something like that. But I'm not, that's not something where I really knew how much I needed. I do know that I'm trying to do as much work now while my calories are higher so that I can use that energy that's in my body more efficiently right now, rather than have to do 
you know, two hours of cardio at the end. If I can avoid that at all costs, I will. Um, I also want to try to avoid dropping my calories off too far. So we'll get into my nutrition. So my tr nutrition, again, I'm completely coaching myself. I don't have anybody to guide me. I have done tons of online Google research, you know, but um, who's to say how efficient, effective that is. But I'm currently eating 40% carbs, 25% fat, and 35% protein, right? That adds up. And um, I'm currently at 1,400 calories. I started at 1,600, and just a couple of weeks ago, I did drop it off um, a little bit to 15, and now I'm at 1,400 calories. I was noticing that my weight loss was kind of slowing, and because I am so short, um, the unfortunate part about that is is that my basal metabolic rate is already low. I did go have an in-body scan done just the other day. It is right, right here. So um, if you've never had an in-body scan, we have one at a local nutrition shop and they did my scan for me. And mine is currently saying that my basal met metabolic rate is exactly 1200 calories. So for me to be able to burn enough calories to be losing the weight I need to lose over the course of the next 17 weeks, I have to increase some of my cardio and stuff right now in hopes that I don't have to drop down into that super low calorie range. And I've, again, I've listened to lots of podcasts. People say that you should not have to drop below a thousand calories. Even 1200 is pretty low. Um, and I'd like to maintain my calorie level as long as possible. So if I can get a little bit leaner now, if that makes sense, uh, while my energy levels are still up rather than towards the end and have to be pushing really hard, that would be awesome. As of right now, I'm not really cutting anything out. I don't eat sweets. Occasionally I'll have like a little tiny mini Hershey dark chocolate bar when I really, really crave it. But usually if I'm having a craving, I will try to opt for something like Quest, nutrition bars, um, a protein shake. I will do peanut butter on a rice cake, something like that. I'm just trying to kind of avoid sugar because that's my weak area. But a typical day of eating for me is usually like um, ogurt, oats with uh, Greek yogurt, and then two scoops of collagen in the morning before my workout. And then I usually work out. And then afterwards would be when I would have like my protein shake. And then I usually transition into a little bit more dense food. So my protein sources currently are lean ground turkey, um, chicken, shrimp, and tilapia. And then for my carbs, I'm doing sweet potatoes and rice. And then for my vegetables, I'm pretty stuck right now between salad and broccoli because I don't do like cauliflower. Um, I've done some green beans, but broccoli just works best for my body. So that's kind of like my entire day. I just kind of like cycle through those things. We meal prep once or twice a week. And then I just kind of eat from there. And the only thing I have to make throughout the day would be like my yogurt and then a couple snacks like um, a rice cake and peanut butter, a rice cake and tuna, something like that. I had already talked about my workouts a little bit, but what you guys might not know is that I am doing this all from home. I don't actually go to the gym, but I do have a home gym setup. So this is my piece of cardio equipment. We also have an air bike. Um, we bought a cable machine from Titan Fitness here just recently. It doesn't have the plate weights. You just have to load it with, well, like the the flat square weights. It has like actually you put plate weights on the side of it, but it works just the same. It's got the upper, it's a cross cable machine. We also have a squat rack and tons of free weights between dumbbells, um, plate weights, uh, the easy curl bar. And then we also have this super old bench that has a like a hamstring curl and a leg extension bar on it that you just again load plate weights onto and it is very old but it gets the job done when it comes to uh hamstring curls and leg extensions it's something that we've just kind of kept and it's all out in our garage so we pretty much have a little mini gym out there yes i'm missing some of the equipment i don't have like a leg press machine um things like that that are definitely going to be more beneficial to those who are going to the gym but because i have kids and my husband and i occasionally work opposing shifts and there's not a lot of time in there. I'm usually working long night shifts, so either one until like 11 o'clock at night or four in the afternoon until one o'clock in the morning. And then on other days, I'm doing books at four o'clock in the morning until like 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning, but then my husband. So you see, it was just easier for us to build a home gym. I am a homebody. I like to be at home. I don't like to leave if I don't have to. So for me, that was kind of our best option. So finally, I just kind of want to share with you guys the progress I've made. So I will post my only before picture, which was absolutely trash and I'm sorry, but I'm not very good at remembering to take before pictures. And then I'm just going to kind of show you my little physique here.
So again, I'm weighing in at about 109 today. I'm about 17 weeks out. And although there aren't any like exact numbers of where I'm going to be on stage day, uh, most of what I've come across for people my height come in in like the low to mid 90s range. So I've still got about 15 pounds to lose over the course of 17 weeks, if that's true. Now, obviously I'm going to be the one judging my body. I have some other people, friends that I'm going to have critiquing me from an outside view, not just myself. And I need to start working on posing, as you can see. I'm not the most confident poser. It's probably the part that I'm actually the most nervous about. I do have a um, virtual coach who has helped me through one session and kind of give me the basics. And I will be having another um, coaching session with her, but I need to actually up my practice. The problem is that I live in a very rural area um, in Montana. So there aren't like a lot of posing clinics. There aren't a lot of options for me to go to an in-person session, especially right now during COVID. So I'm trying to do the best that I can with posing and following people on Instagram and watching YouTube videos. And so that's kind of what I've been doing so far, but I just haven't been as consistent as I'd like to be. I focused a lot more on the training and the kitchen part of it and not so much the posing. So that's something that needs to be worked on. So currently we are sitting at just shy of 17 weeks out. So like 16 weeks, it's Monday, um, but the show's on a Saturday. So you get what I'm saying. Anyways, so we're a little under 17 weeks out. I've probably got like 15 pounds to lose. We've got to get posing down. I still have to buy my suit. So there's still a long way to go. Um, if you want to stick around, I will really be trying to update this and actually uploading videos and making progress stuff. So if you want to stick around for that, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.